Ukraine. Ukraine. Again, the conflict enters a new round. We inform you through counter voices about the situation in Ukraine, which is deprived from you by the so-called public media. Good evening. With Ukrainian film documents and eyewitnesses, from the first hour of the Ukraine crisis, Klagemauer TV has shown that the government coup in Ukraine was a planned and co-financed coup by the US. The aim of this whole campaign is the supremacy of the US against Russia. An inter-European war seems only to be avoidable by conscientious objection of all European peoples against the United States. Therefore, study our broadcasts again and again until you are able to grasp the essence of the message. How it is possible that the so-called public media may spread the exact opposite of the true state of affairs in the world up to this day against better judgment. This must become subject of the investigation authorities. Ukrainian on-site citizens describe the following course of the crisis as the actual one. After Ukrainians' population was no longer willing to let themselves be ruled by criminal minorities, they began to express their protest against against these oligarchs on the Maidan. This protest of the people, however, was deliberately infiltrated, redirected and taken over by terrorist units. Ukrainian parents and eyewitnesses said that their children were literally bought by US organized activists and trained for this terror. All testimonies and film documents previously sent to Klagemauer TV show that war and terror under false flag is conducted in Ukraine. The Ukrainian people themselves however, do not want war. And in fact, what people would want war? On August the 2nd, 2014, we showed you the pictures of mothers and fathers who burned the marching orders of their sons. They did this before the eyes of the military thugs who had just threatened them with five years imprisonment in case of non-compliance. Just one day later, the Ukrainian people are imposed a war tax of 1.5 percent of their income, which is to bring the equivalent of about 10 billion euros. With this money, the new terrorist government finances the military offensive which they lead against the so-called separatists and insurgents in eastern Ukraine. As evidenced by countless film documents, the military troops are fighting resolutely against the civilian population. The anti-government protesters in eastern Ukraine are predominant just normal Ukraine citizens who don't want anything to do with this new old criminal government. For exactly the same oligarchs against which the protests on the Maidan was originally addressed are indeed back in office. They pretend to fight against rebels, terrorists and dangerous Nazis. But countless eyewitnesses that tell us that terroristically infiltrated military is in war against the Ukrainian population. In plain language, this means that the Ukrainians are forced from now on to even fund the war against themselves. The increasing accusation that the so-called separatists in eastern Ukraine are being supported by Moscow is becoming more and more incomprehensible for those knowing about the true state of affairs. What nation would not look for support with their fellow neighbors if being destroyed by terrorist units? What well-meaning neighbor country could stand by and watch, although up to this day the support from Moscow cannot be proven, the situation is precarious, for Russia shall be forced to war and Putin knows this. If he doesn't help Ukraine, Russia has to stand by and watch as his befriended neighboring country is strategically taken over by forces of the US and NATO. But if Russia intervened, it would provide the US warmongers with the desired pretext to an inter-European mobilization against Russia. How dangerous, therefore, the current situation is for the whole of Europe. A new film entitled Ukraine, Clarity in the Courtyard of Hell is showing. Please do not watch this movie with children. It can be seen under our section Education Uncensored. Even though the present situation in the world is very tense and Europe being spared from a war becomes increasingly unlikely, 
This film, nonetheless, shows a way that brings hope. Yet this hope has to become known worldwide. After the Internet, censorship increasingly hinders the necessary distribution of such films. The engagement in the personal distribution of every single viewer is the only way left. Please share the link of that film wherever you can. Thank you very much in advance for your participation. Goodbye.